everybody, it's Titanium Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in to this channel and you want to continue to follow me, first here on YouTube, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit those notification bells so you can follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection. And if you want to follow me on my socials as well, there they go down below. And also, you can see me in the Discord group, the Family Vibe Discord group. If you need any help getting the sneakers that your heart desires for retail or close to it, this is the group to be in. There's the IG page. Message the inbox and uh, let's get to work and build that sneaker collection. Now, today we're going to look at a sneaker as an early review. The shoe is set to release on tomorrow i believe at the time of recording this video this sneaker was one of the uh bandits from memphis if you know what i mean but we finally getting them to the stores and due to that event that happened in memphis a few weeks ago not sure how many are gonna be in stock at the stores but i was able to borrow this pair to do this review for you guys and we're gonna get into it here we go here is the box Splatter all over. Flight written across the T.O.P. Red Jordan jump man. And there's the box. Navy. There is the box label. And I'm going to read it out loud for you guys. It says Air Jordan 4 Retro. Color white midnight navy. This is a size 11. And these bad boys will be retailing at a whopping 210 US dollars. Phew. Fold over box top, and you see it's gray on the inner of the box top. And you can see you have your white paper with the splatter all over, just like it be on most of your retro fours. And it's on the other side, is plain old, plain Jane white. And another layer of tissue paper in the box. Let's pull this out. No goodies and no ydm sticker so it's sneaker time guys here we go guys the jordan retro full midnight navy and it is a play of the white cement for which i have right here there you go basically it's a play of the uh white cement four let me know what y'all feel about this sneaker down in the comment section. If you plan on getting them, drop that down below. Now let's get into it. You see this shoe is made on an all white base. We have an all white upper. We have leather on your upper. The leather is decent. On a scale of one to 10, I give it maybe a seven. Some places is better than others. Like around your ankle right here is tumble, but right here, not so much. White netting, white background. You have that uh, extender right here, which is gray. And you have your Midnight Navy waffle on the T.O.P. You got your Midnight Navy splat on here with the other Midnight Navy waffle right there. Midsole, you got that splatter with the gray. And the splatter is in the Midnight Navy. And you have that Midnight Navy hit right here on your midsole. You got white as well going around your air housing. You can see that clear bubble, and I believe it's a, yep, it's white on the inside. I would have did Midnight Navy on the inside personally, but I didn't design the shoe. And we're going to lead to the outsole with that tech gray that was on your midsole led to the outsole. We do have herringbone traction on here, right here in the Midnight Navy, in that red Got the Red Jordan Jumpman, tech gray with a little herringbone traction there as well. And you have your stars at the at the top, you know, by the toe. Turn to the back of the sneaker, you have a gray uh, tab with Midnight Navy Splatter and you have the Jumpman logo on the back. Nothing behind here. Looking at the medial side of the sneaker, you have your gray waffle i'm sorry your gray wing extended with the midnight navy waffle that is on top white netting system with the white background more of that leather on your base 
from the upper. You got that gray down here with the midnight navy splatter going on with the white around the air housing with a clear bubble and you have a white inside. More of that midnight navy there as well on the midsole and you have that tech gray that is going on right here at the very bottom of the sneaker. And here we go guys. This is a look at the toe box. You can see that leather. This is the leather we have on here. And we have a white netting system that leads all the way to about right here, white background. Comes with one set of laces. These are the only laces that these come with the white flat laces. And we have a woven patch to the top of the tongue that it rests on leather, nice and soft leather. And your uh, woven patch is white with the Midnight Navy Jordan Jumpman logo and flight in red cursive lettering. And you can kind of see the fabric behind the tongue from the front, but we have Midnight Navy. And also another woven patch back here on the tongue. Says Air Jordan upside down. Where it is, this was for people to be able to read it upright when Jordan was dunking on them in the air. And it's sewed on in red threading. We do have a white sock line going all around this sneaker. And it comes stuffed with this paper right here. And here's a look of your, I'm sorry, here's a look at your insert, Midnight Navy insert white jaw jump man you can see that size the sticker size 11 flip it around we have that dream cell insert again we've been seeing that a lot lately on your jordans anyone wore any jordan with that insert let me know what the comfort level is because i haven't worn it yet but uh but this is the sneaker in your nutshell and let me uh get that production date can't forget that we have a US size 11 production date February the 8th of this year to May 27th of this year so we had about three and a half months of production with these see if I can get y'all a view of that and hey, uh, go that production date but this is the Air Jordan Retro 4 Midnight Navy finally making it to stores so Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and plans on this sneaker. And before I go, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.